Hi friends, uh, welcome to all. Uh, in this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity, uh, troubleshooting IPv4 and IPv6 addressing. Here is our objectives. In part 1, we will troubleshoot first issue. In part 2, troubleshoot second issue. And in part 3, troubleshoot the third issue. We will uh, go through the scenario. We are a network technician working for a company that has decided to migrate from IPv4 to IPv6. In the interim, they must support the protocols dual stack. Three co-workers have called at the help desk with the problems and have received limited assistance. The help desk has escalated the matter to you, a level 2 support technician. Your job is to locate the source of the problems and implement appropriate solutions. We will come to uh, part 1, troubleshoot the first issue. A customer using PC1 complains uh, that she cannot access the dual stack server dot PKA web page. So verify a detailed help desk ticket. The help desk collected the following information from the customer over the phone. Verify that it is correct. We will uh, go through this uh, help desk ticket. Uh, client identifier PC1 issue unable to access the dual stack server dot PKA web page. Here are the detailed information. Uh, does the computer have an IP address using IP config? Yes. Can the computer contact its gateway using ping? Yes. Can the computer contact the server using tracert? Yes. Can the computer contact the server using NS lookup? No. So escalate to level to support. Right. Coming to the topology, here we can see uh, the system PC1 and uh, this PC1 is unable to uh, connect to dual stack server dot PKA. Now we will come to uh, step 2. Consider uh, probable causes for the failure. Note the tests that have been conducted. If possible, discuss possible scenarios that would create the situation with your fellow network technicians. So run more tests if it helps visualize the problem. Uh, simulation mode is available. So as per the help desk ticket, uh, they verified here IP address. There is no problem with IP address. It is communicating with the gateway. And also uh, the computer contact the server using tracer also. So obviously we have to check uh, the DNS server address. Here we can see that 64.100.1. We have to verify the DNS uh, IP address uh, here that here we can see DNS server and the address is uh, 64.100.1.254. Here we can see the DNS server address uh, given wrongly. So we must change the DNS server address here. Right now we will come to uh, step three. Uh, propose a solution to solve the problem. Make a list of things that could be changed to solve this problem. Start with the solution that is uh, most likely to work. Okay, uh, implement the plan. Uh, try the most likely solution from the list. If it has already been tried, move on to the next solution. Right, so we identified the problem. Uh, verify the solution, resolve the problem. Repeat the test from the help desk ticket. Did it solve the problem? If the problem still exists, so reverse the change. If you are not sure it is correct, and return to step 4. Right. So, and document the solution. Record the solution to the problem. If you ever encounter the same problem again, your notes will be very uh, valuable. Right. So, here the thing is uh, we must change the DNS address, the DNS server address uh, in uh, PC1. Coming to PC1, here we have to change it uh, according to our uh, addressing table. Here it is 1.254. So we are going to change it to 1.254. Yes. Now we will come to uh, part 2. Troubleshoot a second issue. A customer using PC2 complains that he cannot access files on the dual stack server.pka. Uh, at this address, uh, 2001 colon db8 colon cafe colon 1 double colon 10. So verify a detailed help desk ticket. The help desk collected the following information from the customer over the phone. Verify that it is correct. Here we can see a help desk ticket. Uh, client identifier is PC2. 
and uh, issue is unable to access the FTP service uh, of uh, uh, this uh, server and detailed information about the issues. Uh, does the computer have an IPv6 address uh, using IPv6 uh, uh, config? Yes. Okay. Can the computer contact its gateway using ping? Yes. Can the computer contact the server using tracert? No. Right. So escalate to level to support. Right. We will uh, check it now. Here is our uh, PC2. So we will check its IP address. IPv6 config all and here we can see the address. Now we will uh, ping to our default gateway. So we will give a ping FE80 double colon 1. Yes. So uh, there is no problem. Uh, be able to ping to the uh, gateway. Now we will uh, give the tracer command here tracer uh, to the server right we will give tracer and ipv6 address of our server here we can see that here we can see the computer cannot uh, contact the server uh, using tracer now here we will verify the dual stack server.pka coming to the server ip configuration here is our ipv6 configuration uh, we will uh, match with our addressing table here we can see that 2001 db8 cafe colon one double colon 10 slash 64 it's it's correct and here is a default gateway fe80 double colon a here we can see they assigned the IPv6 uh, gateway wrongly uh, on this uh, dual stack server. So we must change uh, this uh, default uh, gateway. Step 2. Uh, complete step 2 to 5 from part 1 for this problem. Document the solution. Record the solution to the problem. If you ever encounter the same problem again, your notes uh, will be very uh, valuable. So we must uh, change uh, here. Uh, IPv6 gateway in this uh, dual stack server so it's FE80 double colon A now we will come to part 3 troubleshoot the third issue a customer using PC3 complains that he cannot communicate with the PC2 verify a detailed help desk ticket the help desk collected the following information from the user over the phone verify that it is correct here the information uh, help desk ticket Cli uh, client identifier is pc3 unable to communicate with the pc2 so does the computer have an ip address using ip config yes does computer have an ipv6 address uh, using ipv6 config yes can the computer contact its ipv4 gateway using pink no can the computer contact its ipv6 gateway using pink yes so can the computer contact the ipv4 client using tracer no. Can the computer contact the IPv6 client using tracer? Yes. So now we will uh, uh, check it. Here uh, complete the step 2 to 5 from part 1 for this problem. Uh, document the solution. Uh, record the solution to the problem. If you ever encounter the same problem again, your notes will be very valuable. We will come to PC3 command prompt. Here we are going to give IP config all. And here we can see uh, this IPv4 address and uh, submit mask default gateway all these not set. But here they mentioned uh, uh, does the computer have an IP address using IP config? Yes. So uh, actually here is a mistake, right? So also the given can the computer contact its IPv4 gateway using pink. So they mentioned no uh, because even uh, here we can see uh, in this router uh, this network is connected to this interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 2. So we have to check the IP address of that uh, show IP oops, show IP interface brief and here we can see that gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 2 IP address is unassigned right we will uh, cross check the ipv6 address here so ipv6 
config all and here we can see the details right also we will check the address here show ipv6 interface brief and here we can see the address here is the default gateway is fe80 double colon one we will uh, ping to the default gateway ping fe80 double colon one we are getting the replay we can see this uh, pc3 is a ipv6 client and uh, we can ping to this uh, dual stack client here we can see they are using ip configuration they are using both ipv4 and ipv6 we will try to ping to this ipv6 command prompt here we will uh, ping right yes we are getting the reply also here we can see uh, in a pc2 in ip configuration ipv4 here we can see the given ip address submit to mask but they did not specify the default gateway here so we have to assign this a default gateway here here we are going to give the default gateway it's 192.168.0.1 this uh, part of three uh, troubleshooting is obviously there is an ambiguity because uh, here we can see uh, this uh, pc3 is ipv6 client so uh, pc2 we can ping uh, i mean from pc3 to pc2 we can ping using ipv6 address of a pc2 and once we set this ipv4 uh, uh, default gateway we will uh, get the completion status uh, 100 out of 100 Anyway, uh, this uh, PyCard Tracer activity uh, is a simple uh, troubleshooting uh, activity of IPv4 and IPv6 addressing. Friends, if you have any doubt, uh, comment below. Also, subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into your Gmail. Thank you.